just off, before we obviously close the session, I would like to invite uh, uh, Professor Fozia back for con concluding remarks. And after that, we have got uh, uh, some gifts or souvenirs to be given to apprentices and also to the presenters. So please sort of stay for another whatever five minutes or so. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, we had uh, quite a varied and uh, interesting presentations, uh, which varied from simulation and feedback and burnout and safety. And I've just tried to jot down some take home points from these presentations. Um, we had Dr. <coughs> Excuse me, Iqbal Malik, a very entertaining talk on simulation. Uh, I heard the, I learned the immersive simulation uh, word for the first time, in fact. And he talked about the value of uh, simulation learning and uh, time is brain. Uh, Professor Wes, he comes from my alma mater. And uh, he talked about his journey to quality improvement <coughs> and uh, a low technology solution, which shows that it can be done in our public sector hospitals uh, if motivation and leadership is present. And Dr. Batul talked about another very important aspect of uh, safety for the physician and uh, uh, professional well being and how chronic stress can affect us and cause burnout, and how to recognize and manage it. Uh, Dr. Najma Saqib, uh, he talked about giving feedback to the trainees. He talked about different models of feedback. Again, a very nice mnemonic prompted. It's easy to remember. And also the do's and don'ts, uh, especially for the millennium generation. And uh, then I've, I've talked about uh, from the anesthesia uh, safety perspective from uh, the point of view of South Asian countries. Thank you very much. And th thank you for being here at the post-lunch session. It's, it's heartening to see that so many of you were there for this session.